Hello everybody. Welcome to Joey the Lion's Tell That Story Joey. Share with God's people who are in need. And that's out of the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 13. Come on, you say it. Share with God's people who are in need. All right, way to go. Today's story is called Sharing Together. Adam opened his eyes and he stretched out his arms. And then he remembered Grandma was coming today. He jumped out of bed and he ran into the kitchen. Is Grandma here yet? He asked his mom. Good morning, Adam. Mom smiled. Nope, Grandma is not here yet. Adam, Sarah, and Mom, they sat down at the breakfast table to eat. And while they were eating, the doorbell rang. It's Grandma, Adam shouted, and he ran and he opened up the door. Grandma, I'm glad you came to see us, he said, and he put his arms around her. I'm glad I came too, laughed Grandma, and Grandma gave a big hug. I have a surprise for, you, for, you, for Sarah and Adam, said Grandma. She gave each one a big box. Carefully, Sarah opened up her box. Oh, a new doll, Sarah squealed. And a suitcase full of clothes for the doll. Thank you, Grandma. And Sarah sat down on the floor and she began to play. Then Adam opened up his box. His eyes got big. Oh, boy, a fishing game. Thank you, Grandma. Adam spread his fishing game out all over the floor and he began to play with it. The little fishing pole had a hook at the end of the line. Adam lowered the little fishing line into the box and he caught a red fish and next he caught a blue one this was like real fishing and after a while the phone rang mom answered it and talked for a long time and when she hung up she said that was mrs turner she told me about some boys and some girls who lived in a farm workers camp out in the country and those children's parents worked in the field all day picking vegetables and they don't always have enough money to buy their children clothes and they hardly ever had enough money to buy toys. Adam and Sarah listened quietly. Adam, Mom said, Miss Turner asked if we had some clothes that you and Sarah had outgrown and also some toys that you weren't going to be using anymore. Well, some of my jeans are a little for me, Adam answered. And, and I don't wear my blue jean jumpsuit anymore, Sarah said. Mom smiled. I think we can find lots of clothes. Now, what about some toys? Well, I've got old puzzles, Adam said. But aren't there pieces missing, Mom asked. Yes, Adam said. He knew puzzles aren't fun to do with pieces gone. Well, I can give my doll clothes, said Sarah. Then she added, but her arm got torn off. I think we could sew it back on. As good as new, Grandma said. So Sarah went to get her doll for Grandma to fix. I know, Adam said. The wheel came off of my fire engine and it's really fun to play with. Maybe we could fix that too. Good idea, said Mom. And you have lots of books that are too young for you now that you've grown so big. And Sarah came back with the doll and Grandma began to sew on the arm. And Sarah looked at the new doll clothes Grandma had given her. I think this new dress will fit my old doll, she said. Then she will really look good as new. And Mom hugged Adam and Sarah. I'm glad that you're willing to share your things, she said. Okay, boys and girls, let's talk about our story. Who came to visit Adam and Sarah? Come on. That's right. Your grandma. Way to go. Now, what did grandma bring to Sarah? She brought Sarah a doll and some new clothes. A suitcase full of clothes, actually. Now, what did Grandma give to, to Adam? That's right, he got a brand new fishing game. Now, what did Mrs. Turner ask Mom on the telephone?
That's right. Miss Turner asked if we had some clothes that Sarah had outgrown and also maybe some toys that they weren't using anymore. Way to go if you got that. One more. What did Adam and Sarah share? That's right. They shared their toys and their clothes and I believe even some books that they had outgrown. Isn't it beautiful how God helps us share with others? The Bible says, share with God's people who are in need. Come on, repeat it with me. Share with God's people who are in need. Let's ask God right now. God, can you help us please think of ways that we can share with other people? Amen.